Hey guys, it's Miss Level here. Today, we're going to be talking about Walt Disney. I love Disney World, and I can't wait to learn more about the man who created Disney World. So, in today's lesson, we're going to be comparing and contrasting two texts. Whenever we're comparing and contrasting two texts, we're looking at an informational text. So, it is nonfiction. Before we get started on our stories, let's learn some important background information. Before we get started, you might be asking yourself, how do I compare and contrast two texts? Whenever we're comparing and contrasting two different texts, we always need to use a Venn diagram, like the one on my page. A Venn diagram has two circles that overlap. In the first circle, you talk about the first text. On this side of the circle, you talk about all the differences that you noticed in the first text. In the second circle, you talk about the second text. On this side of the circle, you talk about the differences that you saw in this text. Where the circles overlap in the middle is how you talk about how the two texts are similar. Now that we've gone over the Venn diagram and what we should be doing in our Venn diagram, let's talk about some important terms that we need to better understand before we can get started. Okay guys, there are four important terms that we need to understand better before we get started on our lesson. The first word is compare. Whenever you are comparing something, you are pointing out things that are the same. So in each text, we need to be thinking about things that were mentioned in both. That's how we can point out things that are similar. The next term is contrast. Whenever you are contrasting something in two texts, you are pointing out things that are different. For example, these can be different things that they say that weren't mentioned in the other text. The third term is topic. A topic is what the text is about. In this case, the topic in our two texts is Walt Disney. The last term that we're going to discuss is key details. Key details are important points mentioned in the text. This is really important. Of course, in both of the texts, they're going to be mentioning lots of different things. It's our job as the reader to find which pieces of information are the most important. Now that we have a better understanding of these important terms, let's get started on reading our first text. The first text that we will be reading today is Walt Disney's Career. Before I get started on reading, I just want to let y'all know I'm going to read both texts back to back and then we'll go back and point out the differences and the similarities that we see in order to fill out our Venn diagram. Let's get started. Walt Disney drew characters and made movies. He created the Disney theme parks. Children have enjoyed Disney's creations since the 1920s. Walt Disney made some of the most familiar characters. Mickey Mouse first appeared in a short film called Steamboat Willie. Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck appeared in a comic strip in 1930. Other beloved characters, including Pluto and Goofy, also appeared in comic strips. Disney created over 50 movies. The first Disney movie was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It came out in 1937. There are many other Disney classics. They include Cinderella, The Lion King, and Frozen. There are theme parks around the world. Millions of tourists visit these parks each year. Disney opened his first theme park called Disneyland in 1955. There are now parks in Florida, Paris, Tokyo, and Hong Kong. Walt Disney has entertained generations of people through his characters, films, and theme parks. Now that I've read my first text, I'm going to move on to my second text. The second text that we'll be reading today is Walt Disney, The Man Behind the Magic. Walt Disney was born in Chicago on December 5, 1901. Walt's family moved to Kansas City. 
There, his parents bought a newspaper. Walt helped his parents deliver newspapers. He worked early in the morning and late in the evening. Walt got poor grades in school. He often fell asleep in class due to working so much. In the 1920s, Walt became interested in cartoons. His cartoons became popular in Kansas City. Walt moved to Hollywood to open a studio. Walt hired an animator named Lillian Bounds, who later became his wife. Walt and Lillian had a daughter named Diane Marie. They adopted another daughter named Soren May. Walt continued to create popular cartoons like Mickey Mouse. He also created many famous films, including his first film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It was not until the 1940s that Walt began his plans for his first theme park, Disneyland. In 1965, Walt began to plan his next theme park in Florida called Walt Disney World. Walt was never able to see his Disney World dream come true. On Walt's 65th birthday, he died of problems caused from lung cancer. Great work, guys. Now that we've read both texts, let's go back to our first text, Walt Disney's career, and let's point out some differences and some similarities that we saw. The first passage titled Walt Disney's Career is honestly the perfect title for this text. This passage was centered around his career. Now, while I'm marking on my text, I'm going to use an orange highlighter to indicate the differences that I see, and then I'm going to use a pink highlighter to indicate the similarities that I saw in both texts. The first difference that I noticed in this story was that it talks about Mickey Mouse's first appearance. His first appearance was in a short film called Steamboat Willie. This key detail was not mentioned in the second text, but this is important to me as the reader because it shows me how Walt Disney's career started. Another difference that I saw in this text versus my second text is it tells me how many movies Walt Disney actually created. In the third paragraph, it mentions that he created over 50 movies. It goes in to list some of the movies, such as Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Cinderella, The Lion King, and Frozen. The last key detail that I want to point out that was different in this first text is that there are theme parks all over the world dedicated to Walt Disney's in his creations. This is in paragraph four, so I'm going to highlight this information. In this paragraph, it also mentions all the places where you can find a Walt Disney theme park. These places include Florida, Paris, Tokyo, and Hong Kong. Now that I've pointed out all of my differences in the first text, I want to go in with my pink highlighter and I want to point out all the similarities that I saw that were mentioned in both texts. In both passages, it mentions that Walt Disney drew really popular cartoons and made movies and films. I found this important detail in the first paragraph. Another similarity that I found in both texts is that the first theme park that Walt Disney created was Disneyland. This key detail was mentioned in the fourth paragraph when it says, Disney opened his first theme park called Disneyland in 1955. Now that I've found three differences and two similarities in my first passage, I'm going to go to my second passage and see if I can find some more differences that we can add to our Venn diagram. Before I start pointing out the differences, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the similarities that I saw in both that I just mentioned in the first text. The first one was that Walt created popular cartoons and he also created famous films. That was mentioned in both passages. In addition to this, it was mentioned in both passages that the first theme park was Disneyland. 
This information was also in paragraph four, so I'm gonna highlight in my pink highlighter. Great work. Now that we've pointed out the similarities, let's go in with our blue highlighter and point out all the differences in our second text. The passage, Walt Disney, the man behind the magic, offered us lots of different points that we didn't see in the first text. This story tells us not only about his career, but also his early life. Some important information that adds to his early life that was mentioned in the passage is where he was born, which was in Chicago on December 5th, 1901. It also talks about where he lived, which was Kansas City. It goes on to tell us about his previous job, which was delivering newspapers. And then it goes into his family, which was Lillian Bounds, his wife, and Diane Marie and Sharon May, which are his daughters. All of these key details gave us information about Walt Disney's early life. In addition to this, another key detail that was mentioned in the second passage was that in 1920, he became interested in cartoons. This detail tells me when Walt Disney's career really took off. The last key detail that I found in this text that was different from the first text was at the very end, it talks about how he was never able to see his Disney World dream come true because on his 65th birthday, he died. Now that I've pointed out all of these great important details that were mentioned both in text number one and text number two, it's time for me to use this information and fill out my Venn diagram. Let's compare and contrast. Now, here I have my Venn diagram. Because we're talking about Walt Disney, I thought it'd be fun to put two Mickey Mouse heads behind it. But we know that a Venn diagram is typically just two circles that are overlapped. What I like to do whenever I'm filling out my Venn diagram is I like to take the first text and I like to fill in all the differences. Then I go to the next text and I fill out all the differences I found there. And lastly, I fill in the things that I found that were similar. So let's start with Walt Disney's career. The first difference that I saw in my first text was that Mickey Mouse made his first appearance in the short film, Steamboat Willie. Remember, whenever we're filling out a Venn diagram, you don't have to use complete sentences because we're just getting our ideas out there. The first key detail that I'll write in my text is Mickey Mouse first appeared in Steamboat Willie. The second difference that we highlighted in our text was that Walt Disney created over 50 movies during his career. Walt created over 50 movies. The last difference that we marked on our text was that there are theme parks all over the world. There are theme parks all over the world. Great job, guys. Now that we've contrasted Walt Disney's career, let's move on to our second text, which is Walt Disney, the man behind the magic. The first thing that I saw that differed from the first text was that the second text talked about his early life. So I'm going to write, talks about early life. The things that they discussed were when he was born, where he lived, his previous jobs, and his family. The second detail that they mentioned in my second text was that in 1920 he became interested in creating cartoons. So I'm going to write in the 1920s he 
became interested in cartoons. Fantastic job, guys. Let's talk about the third detail that I saw in the second text that wasn't mentioned in our first passage. That key detail was that he died on his 65th birthday. Okay, guys, now we need to talk about how the two texts were similar. This needs to include the things that were mentioned that were the same in both passages. The first thing I want to mention is that he created popular cartoons and films. Awesome. And the last detail that we saw that was mentioned in both passages was that the first theme park was Disneyland. I'm going to write that as my second similarity. I don't know about y'all, but I learned so much about Walt Disney's career and his life through comparing and contrasting these two texts. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. 